there, football fans. My name is Derek P. Fields, and welcome to the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell because on this channel, we talk all things Detroit Lions. Well, that did not take long. Amir Abdullah got picked up in less than a day, and now it appears that Theo Riddick, while that may or may not happen, that has yet to be seen. Today is Saturday, the 26th, I believe, of July. The Detroit Lions just cut Theo Riddick today, this morning, bright and early this morning, and it appears, according to the Bleacher Report, that Theo Riddick's first meeting is with the Saints. Now, how fitting is that, that Theo Riddick meets with the Saints when one of the best moves he ever made on the football field was against a Saint? Uh, I want to say it was back in 2014. He catches uh, a short, maybe eight to 10 yard pass, and he literally shakes my man out of his shoes. It was ridiculous. But we know that uh, the Saints lost Mark Ingram. He went to Baltimore, and they've got Kamara, um, and I don't know who else they have on the roster right now. I haven't had a chance to look. But Theo Riddick, so in my opinion, this is my guess, this is all speculation, and I knew Theo was going to have a market because Theo is not, he's, it's not like he doesn't have a bunch of talent. Uh, I actually believe he was just a casualty. I think the Lions, uh, he had been here for six years. His, it was time for a change of scenery with Theo Riddick. In addition to that, he was due to uh, make, he was like $4 million against the cap that uh, it cost, you know, but the Lions got just under a million in dead money, and I think that overall put them where they saved almost three-ish something million, a little over three, something like that. So I think it was a move that was going to be made regardless. And if you have not seen my Theo Riddick video from this morning, be sure to go ahead and check that out. But I believe that Theo Riddick, at the worst case scenario, will be on a team before the start of training camp because he's got a lot of talent. I think him being in Detroit kind of hurt his stock a little bit because of Jim Bob Cooter's play calling. I mean, this dude, when he was in, you knew it was going to be a pass. You already knew. And Theo is not a running back. That's not what he – he's not very good at that, but he is great at catching the ball – you know, out of the coming out of the backfield, catching the ball and uh, being able to take it. You know, he's lost a few steps. He is 28. So he still got some juice in the tank, though. So shout out to Theo Riddick um, for keeping his head up. And I think he got right from the he left right. He I don't even think he came. In my opinion of what happened, because I didn't really go into it earlier today. I think that he knew last night that he was going to go. I think that um, the Lions released that this morning. That's why it was so early. Kind of like when we got Danny Amendola. If you look at uh, Danny Amendola was already on the first thing in the morning, he was getting off the plane. So there's no way that he didn't know he was coming to Detroit. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, Theo Riddick, first meeting post-Detroit Lions is with the New Orleans Saints uh, I would like to see that. I'm not even going to lie. I would like to see Theo Riddick in a Saints uniform. Um, I think he would fit perfect in their kind of style and how they play the game. Real fast pace, up-tempo. So congratulations to Theo Riddick. Uh, he will land somewhere in the next couple of days. We have a few days, maybe about a little over a week before training camp, and he will be on a team. So anyway, guys, my name is Derek P. Fields. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to hit that subscription button. Ring the bell as well because we talk all things Detroit Lions. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Holy grail.